received this letter, an email, you don't receive letters anymore. The uh, almost only letters that come in are handwritten and include some writing on the envelope, which is not a, is always a bad sign. Even before email, when I got letters that had part of what was written inside on the envelope, I knew uh, th this is a problem. Do I what? Uh, it is weird to get letters, yes. Unless it's a typewritten, beautiful, on stationery, where somebody just wants to formally state something. That's nice. But it's always best. Uh, but email, well, that's nice. And email. You could send them both. Hi, Dennis. This is from a woman, Lori. I won't give her last name. I'm sure she wouldn't care, but I won't give it because I don't have permission. In Encino, California. Subject. My normally sane best friend is voting for Hillary. Hi, Dennis. Incidentally, that is an interesting evolution from dear to hi. Now, de dear has gone the way of dear. It's pretty much, that's, that's it. It's, a, I wonder what that means. I don't, it may not mean much, but it, it, it's, well, certainly it's a, a, more of the informal taking over, like nobody gets dressed up for anything anymore, including church. Boy, I remember learning in elementary school how to write a letter. Dear so-and-so, if it's formal, it's a, you put a colon. If it's informal, you put a comma. Skip a line, then you begin, right? At the end, it's sincerely yours or very truly yours. Formality is dying a fast death. Anyway, I, I still do on occasion, dear so and so. Like, dear so. Well, I mean, what are you going to do if you get a hate letter and you respond, which I do on occasion? So I, I, well, I don't know if I do dear then, but on occasion, I will still do dear Mr. So and so. Can't do hi, Mr. So and so, right? Hi has to have a first name. Anyway, hi, Dennis. My best friend, and then I get the name, my, her best female friend, was always conservative and she'll, until she met her current boyfriend, who has convinced her to be Democrat. How does that happen? I can't imagine you or I having a liberal girlfriend if we were single and uh, changing us. All right, it happens, obviously. I know it happens in the other direction. I want her back on our team. I just don't connect with her as nicely as we used to with such a different viewpoint. That's true. It's sad. I feel for, I feel for her. I even feel for the girlfriend because I'm sure she lo loves this woman as a girlfriend. I don't know. It's very tough. Because the gap between left and right is unbridgeable. Doesn't mean that one side is all bad and one side is all good people, but it does mean that the views are unbridgeable. That, that, there's, no, there's no getting around that. I was wondering if I could buy you a cup of coffee at any coffee shop and let her hear from you why she should continue to be conservative and not vote for Hillary. I would love to take up take her up on this offer but I obviously I, I can't because of time but that's not why I'm reading this to you I want to continue I have trouble verbalizing it myself but just know from listening to you that it's the way to be for any hope for, of this country to stay the great country it is I figure you must jo enjoy a good cappuccino or beverage of your choice and I know you like converting people to conservatism especially those who once were and left. So I thought you might agree to 15 or 20 minutes of your time, or less if you wish, etc., etc. Okay, thank you, and then her name. Oh, she writes at the end. <laughs> this is cute. I'm sure the answer is either no, or I won't even get an answer, but I have to try. It would be epic if you said yes. Thank you. Well, all right, so I am certainly giving it time on the air. So why did I, why am I reading you this? It, it, it's so interesting. 
and so important and so what I what I fear about our great country people don't know how to make the case for it now first of all if the friend is now on the left I don't believe the friend believed in conservatism I think the friend had an, a conservative instinct like many have a liberal instinct that's the way they were raised or that's just the fam familiar and therefore they vote that way but it was not an understanding of what it stands for you can't understand what conservative conservatism stands for and then change your mind it doesn't make sense it makes sense that you would change there are people who change obviously republican to democrat and vice versa i understand that but to all of a sudden you don't believe in, in liberty e pluribus unum and in God we trust is the foundational trinity of the American civilization. It, it just, you, you decided they're not worthy. You think that expanding government uh, uh, with, with insurmountable, immeasurable almost debt is a good thing. You think that half the American people not paying federal taxes and being supported by others is a good thing. You think that weakening the military in, of the United States of America is a good thing? You think the Iran deal was a good thing? All of a sudden now you you are, uh, you believe that it, it is guns that kill, not people? All of a sudden you, uh, you have taken a position against capital punishment? A person goes and into an apartment and, and uh, stabs a, a woman to death? while taking her purse deserves to live I mean all of these changes have just happened because your boyfriend is eloquent it's hard it's the only answer is and, and, I'm, and this is not said with anger or even contempt it's just said this woman never really understood what she stood for that is my argument that is why the video of me at the University of Denver with Sarah Palin uh, at uh, at my side, uh, that uh, that uh, video and Hugh Hewitt, of course, that video went viral in the millions because I answered the question from former Senator Bill Armstrong: "What's the biggest problem facing the country?" And when people shouted Obama, I said, "No, it's that we haven't taught the next generation what it means to be an American." And now the chickens are truly coming home to roost. People don't know. Anyway, the best thing you can do, my dear Lori, is watch Prager University videos and it'll arm you. Or read my book, Still the Best Help, back in a moment. With SRN News, I'm Keith Peters in Washington. On the eve of the crucial Indiana primary, Donald Trump is mocking his Republican rivals.